Hello everyone. So as said in the last video, so we are going to create this one in this second video of collection. And how can we use collection to handle similar type of event? Like uh, in this case, as I showed you earlier, that you can type any letter or anything except zero to nine. So it will not take if I try to input something else, any of these text boxes. Okay. So we are going to show this in this video. So let me close this one. So, so this is just a blank file created. And now we can see that there is no code or no text box or user form or anything so we are going to create this from scratch so let me insert in user form little bit resize it it's become a little big okay now for this input taking so we are going to use level level heading is how many text box I need to change the font let's put this 14 time new time new swimmers okay okay so I can use some Back color now a text box to take input sorry so this is going to be the text box which will take the input okay now mm, if I want to add the text boxes maybe in this section one is here copy this another one is here this much of vertical spacing is looks good i guess okay this is enough so first of all we need to add this text boxes dynamically based on this input value okay so and uh, we need to handle the event so at first let me insert class module one is going to be handling the event del text box event event and another class module is wrapper class or anything you can put the sensible name okay now when we are going to add this dynamically so we need to provide these things like the left top with height and then we need to use this vertical spacing too so for that we need enum i guess enum will be better so private enum position and enum now so left will be if i go to this one and check this one if i go to this below section now you can see this left is 12 and top is 54 with 204 so that will be left 12 top is 54 and number one is width and height 
and vertical spacing between two so i need to put this fellow in this one actually start top the first one stop so if i go to this one again if i go to the height so 24 height width is 204 so 204 height is 24 and particle spacing i guess this is height is 24 plus top is 54 so um, 78 is the bottom and this top is this one's top is 84 so 78 and 84 so i guess 6 would be fine so 6 so we need this to add the text boxes dynamically okay <coughs> and handling text box so this one will contains the text box okay so text box let's suppose and we are going to handle the events so with events text box as ms forms dot text box now so we are going to use this text box event in this case we are going to use key press event so I don't need this one. I need this one. Okay. And in this wrapper class, another thing we need is that we need some collection to hold all those text boxes, which is going to be used in the seizure form, or which is going to host event will be handled. Okay. So I need a collection. So text box collection as collection so we need to set this text box collection when the class is initialized so in this class initialization event set text box collection is equals to new collection okay and in this class exit or terminate event we can dynamically or we can release the memory nothing okay so this is software code and another private field is total text box so far added as long maybe or byte i think we can use byte maybe we are not going to add more than 256 text box okay so this is so far code and other things we need to use that at first we need to add these text boxes right so now i need i can delete this too so i need to add this to text box or we need to add this from this user from event or uh, sorry user from class to this wrapper class so we can say that set public sub set input tick i guess we can use this and that will be by fail or by if we can use something so by fail input ticker as ms forms dot text box so now we need to add this text uh, text boxes to collection so you can say like so we need to instantiate this event because we need the text box event in this input taker too okay so now let me Clear variable deem acceptors temporary text text box event handler as text 
and then text box event now set temp text box event is equals to new and then text box event set temp dot text box and that will be this input taker now we need to add this to the collection right so the collection as text box collection dot add input taker and you can use like input taker okay now we need to update the total text box value is equals to in this case one right and now we can release this memory so nothing so in this user from if i go to this code now i need private wrapper class so let's say something wrap as wrapper okay and in this user from initialize event i can <coughs> instantiate this wrapping so set wrapping equals to new wrapper set wrapping dot set input taker is equals to sorry, this is a shove so i don't need this one so i need the name of that so text box one i can rename this that input taker i guess this is okay let's copy this okay so me dot controls and then okay now if i run this nothing will be happened because we didn't code that for but let me show you that how this processing is going on so now and we set this so text box collection is initialized and then wrapping set so it's go to this sub now you can see this that new event handler and text box count now if i show you in this local window now you can see this that a text box collection right so mm, text box collection me text box collection is containing one item and the name of this guess uh, name will be name is input taker okay so now let's set this now still you can see this there Oh, sorry now me is representing this user form. so this is just add this text boxes okay the input taken text boxes now we can go to this wrapper class now we need okay as we need this text boxes change event to so i can use another text box okay now so we need to handle this change event in this wrapper class so we need another public with event variable so private is okay so input taker as ms forms the text box so we need with events okay. and in this subset so we need to set that to so set input taker equals to input taker okay maybe it's let me 
let's put this name so here it doesn't mix up so input ticker okay so now as i use with event now i can handle this input ticker change event and based on this change event let me push message so that understand that if it's running or not let's see if i run this user from now mm, so it's running it's running okay so now based on this input we need to insert these text boxes okay so let me go to this wrapper class again now when it will change it can have two things either it reduce the text boxes or it can increase the text boxes number or add the text boxes number okay so now if input ticker handler dot value is equals to blank then text boxes need to add is equals to zero so i need to declare this variable team counter so how many as let's suppose long so else if else counter is going to be the value of input ticker put take sorry input handler dot value and end if okay so we need this bunch of text boxes now we need to compare with the total text boxes so that's why I use this as a class module level variable instead of some server function level. So its local is scope is in module scope. Okay. Now, if as the first one is the main text boxes which we added in the design time. So if total text box. minus one so that means the number of text boxes added dynamically right is greater than this counter then what we need to do then we need to delete the text box so delete text box it's not declared yet and else if else if total sorry i don't need this else if else is enough else i need to add text box right add text box still it will take variable or parameter so need to change this later now we need this to sub so private sub let me copy this name okay so we need to delete so let's suppose we need to provide that from is from start point as long okay so it will start at that particular place and it will delete that amount of text boxes from this user form again let's just copy this and name this as a add text box so we can just say that how many or end point end number or how many text boxes needed okay now for the first part hmm. so let me complete this add button sorry add text box first 
so what we need to know that we need to know the end number and we also need to know or we need to look through up to the total text box to the last end number right so like if we give end number 2 then it will add two text boxes and it will start at total text box minus 1 so team index I suppose is long so for index is equals to total text box is already present to uh, to n number next index let me add a local level variable as text box control ctrl is enough as ms forms dot text box so ctrl dot sorry so in this case it's coming from this uh, input taker if you enter it so we need that too so by file is okay input taker has ms let me go ms form dot text box it's enough so control sorry set control equals to input taker dot parent so it will represent the text box dot add controls dot add now i need to show you something that how can i add text boxes or something so this is a microsoft documentation so now you can see this that object dot add the first parameter is name uh, sorry this one so first one is frog id and the second one is name so in case of frog id now you can see this that text box in case of text box that is forms dot text box dot one so let me copy this dot add from the text dot one now let me run name this so text text box and that will be index i guess now it will add that text box i guess with ctrl and end with now we need to change some property like left left will be position dot left right sorry top sorry top will be position dot top sorry start top okay so this is going to be the start for top plus we need to add that position dot height plus position dot vertical spacing and third multiply by the counter index i guess index minus one that will be the top i guess let's see and then the width is going to be the position dot width height height is going to be the position dot height and we need to add this to the text for uh, sorry collection let me run this first okay so that is change again counter is this one so add text box and number is that counter sorry this is going to be the counter 
and it's uh, yes that will be counter so let me run this now shape this first now run it so if i give one argument not optional okay so counter is argument is not optional okay let me put this dummy things type mismatch that it's saying is long counter as long put together as ms form or oh, sorry and it passed to variable input ticker handler and then this one let's see now run that's good not blank so counter is one now total text box so add text box so it add a control let me see now you can see this text box so with control left position will be this 12 top position is this index minus one no that should not be the case 24 sorry index is minus so it becomes z so it will be index x let me run it again so uh, if one so it's at two text boxes where it should add only one right so there is something i'm missing right so let me go to this so total text box zero to end number okay so end number is one one to one i don't need this i can use this index is one right and this is going to be the first one so this is should be okay let's run it now so one so it's added one text box uh, so it's add two text boxes okay okay so it's adding but it's not still complete right so now we already add these text boxes now what we need to do that we need to change uh, something like we need to add this to handler so again dim temp as handling friend set temp equals to new so delivering set temp dot text box is equals to current control right now i need to add this to collection so text box collection dot add and it will be this temp and the key is going to be the this one so this and we're done so set temp equals nothing and it will add the text box let me add some event so i can understand that if doing something very message box clicked let's see if i run this mm, let's do run so it's added to text box so it's saying clicked it's saying clicked so it's working properly now it's added properly let's suppose if i add multiples let's suppose 10 so it will add one so the key is already present right so it's saying that's index one okay sorry so we need to update the total text box right so after all the loop total text box will be the end number
uh, here in number we are passing only these values so that will be plus one let's run this now so one ten so ten text boxes is added now if i can try to something do something now you can see this that it's saying that we are pressing or keep pressing something right now i need to do this for the delete part so so the text boxes adding part is done and it's working properly we need to do this one just copy this paste this now we need to use this deletion things right so we need to delete text boxes now that will be with uh, input taker dot parent dot parent so it will represent the user form and with now we need to delete or remove controls so controls dot remove yes now we need to provide the name so the, before that we need to run the loop right right so that will be again index as long for index it will be like that from start point to the uh, total text box total text box next index now put for each text sorry index or text boxes when it this one so remove and then that will be text box and then index but the problem is that from its start let's see because we are using this end number plus one but in this case we are running this total text box one to end number let's uh, keep trying we will understand this if it's working properly or not now we need to we are using this one right so we need to use that to show text box sorry text box collection dot remove and the index will be this just copy this now it remove now it remove from the collection right in the end we need to update the total text box that will be the from start and so like start from two so one two so there will be only one and the one is added in design time so it from start that's correct now let's see delete text box and then that will be input handler input handle and then now the it will not be the counter okay so total text box minus one okay so it's saying that if blank then zero and counter input ticket dot value in cases okay i guess the counter will be things let's uh, let's get rid of this one and this one. now if i run this let me shape this before running it now 10 that's working properly in valid argument so it's saying that controls dot remove invalid argument argument so this is saying index 11 or from start point is one sorry that will go up to minus one, this one let's see now on this then so there should be one text box right 
instead of becoming zero there should be one text box so from a start point so that's one so actually that will be plus one because uh, we are on we want to keep only one text box uh, and we are passing this one so our restart point will be uh, plus one so if if we want to keep that much of text box which is provided in this so let's say 10 now it's one so if i add 15 now we can say that text box and this index is one is already present so total text box was one in this case when we remove this text boxes right so all text boxes and then index controls remove this one also is removed but it's saying that Okay, so total text box from a start is 1, so total text box will be plus 1. So let's run this now 10, 15, so it's adding 1, 0, 20, it's adding properly. Okay, so this adding part is done. Okay, now as you can see how we add this one because our from start like one but the total text box will be the from start plus one because we added one text box at the design team now in this handling things now we need to use case okay so select cache and that will be key ASCII. and and select now you can see this that uh, case 48 to 57 that will be for ski fellow 48 to 57 I guess so now you can see this that ASCII control characters so 48 represents 0, 57 represent 9. Okay, so we want to allow this to and delete and backspace. Okay, so backspace is 8 and the delete, so backspace and then delete, right? So delete will be. So 127. Okay. So 48 to 57, 8 or 127. If the case like this, then we want to allow this. Allow this. Else key as key will be 0. Okay, let's run this now. Go to this one, run this as a 10 now, else without I don't need this. Okay, so now if I try to type something, it doesn't allow me to say it. Why is this happening? It doesn't allow this to let's go to this so case 48 to 57 so it doesn't get to two part so case 48 to 57 8 and on 27 so let's get rid of this no problem if i run this now go to this let's see 10 now if i press this 6 7 8 9 0 
then it's taking okay okay let's see open this let me add a module so i don't need to start test user from on dot so actually it's a global level object so we shouldn't use this there is a advanced level article this one in this rubber tuck so if you want to read this you can watch this so for simplicity i'm using this mm, let me insert something okay insert but save is fine let me assign macro that is test one now let me open this one screen clipboard so i can show you okay this one let's open this user form now you can type this on zero nine okay you can backspace this backspace this and it's working right now if i want to press some things in this case let's put this one type this much sorry oh, the change event is working but it should not because the key as key should get rid of the shirt so i'm missing something maybe <coughs> let's see so we use this sub input takers right let me put a debug point in this case let me run that again and sub from this x now it's going to this change event that means it doesn't add it properly so new handle text box event at text box this is going to be the input taker oh sorry i had to use this right so input taker wrapping okay so input taker let's put this one and this now if i go to this it's adding and it's taking this text box new and del text box event now input taker as i miss from the text box it's setting the text box right then let's see so temporary text box this is representing this and put taker right now add oh sorry in this place i am messing up so that will be temp text box handler uh let me do this again now so i don't need this one anymore now if i try to do this sorry. get rid of this one too okay now if i try to open this one screen and click this one now it's coming up right now if i try to put one two it's taking right if i want to press this one it doesn't take it, okay if i press this one then it's going to take that in this case same place or same thing you cannot type anything rather than number you cannot press this okay it will not take that so this is for all these text boxes you can type this 
but this is not going to be taken any text boxes same imprint okay or same validation it will not take anything except this backspace and this number okay so now you can see this that i can use collection when this there is similar type of event or similar type of handling event so this is another good use of this collection now if i don't want to use this collection or this uh, object oriented things actually uh, i'll make some video on this but for the time being so if i don't want to use this with event uh, this one with event text box or in this class then i need to use all these text boxes change event and i cannot add or assign all the text boxes event in the runtime okay because i can use this one's code in this class right uh, like input trigger then change but there is only result from level and input trigger okay the dynamically added or runtime added text boxes is not present and i i cannot add that added text boxes event in this place okay or I, if i still can do this like uh, if i add some text boxes and i need similar type of validation like actually let's see if i add this one then just copy this this one and i need similar type of validation then i can do this with only one event like in this place i'm using only one event text box underscore key press right but uh, for this one if i want to do that then i need to use this one's change event this one's change event and so on so in this case or this one's key press actually in this case so in this case con collection is good and this uh, oop or class model is good okay and let me run it again if it's working properly so you can see this that it's adding text boxes properly and it's assigning the event to the proper um, event by using this collection let me show you one more thing that i did today by using this collection things okay so in this case the problem is that uh, there is some option button okay and he, all these are added in this design time now if i select this one it should select this set if i select this one then it should select this set if i select this one then it should select this set and so on okay so in this case although these are added in this runtime now if i want to do this similar thing without using this collection and without using this actually you can use uh, array to for this uh, type of event handling okay but as we don't know how many text boxes will be there in this case the collection is better okay now if i want to do this in this one then i need to go to this and then use command option button one click event and again option button two click event three click event okay so instead of that i am using only one event option button event handler this click event okay so that's it so this is also a good use of this collection and class module so i will make some video on this class module but later so before going to that we need to know this collection properly and another thing it's not completed yet let's see so it's not completed yet uh, some task is still need to finish okay so this is one thing that now you can see this that I'm adding this control 
at the runtime okay and now you can see this selected date is 1 I click this one selected day is 20 now if I want to do this without using this event handling process or class model then it will take uh, uh, for amount so 42 I guess so 42 common button click event okay so and that is not very good approach or and that is very time consuming and repetitive code we need to use repetitive code okay so now we can see this that this part need to be hand elephant right so like I need to select this now you can see this that based on this selection this coloring changing is uh, shifting okay so I need to use event or handling event based on this this things will be changed like Sunday and wait does day so it's changing based on this and similar type of validation I need here okay like this one I can update this or in this place like 24 hour system so I can go up to 24 and minimum I can go zero okay but if I select this am now I cannot go up to 24 because 12 hour is the maximum if I use this one then I can go if I select this one it will reduce to this 12 okay this one I cannot go up to 60 I cannot go below 0 right in this case same things so this three text boxes has some limitation like the lower value is 0 higher value is 60 in this two case and 12 based on the selection or 24 in this hour so this three need to be handled and I can use only one event handler for this and for this I can on use only one event handler class okay and for this one and so on so this is also good use you can use event handling you can click this one or this one okay so this this is also good use for this uh, collection or actually this is uh, best use of handling event by using class but still it's a good use of this collection data structure thank you guys uh, thank you for watching and feel free to ask if you have any question